story is kind of an adaptation uh, from a Manipuri folk tale of sorts. It's their belief that long back their ancestors came out from a cave, which they call Kurpui. It's the story of their origin. So I guess this is different because we are exploring a different material. The camera starts from like stand, sand dunes, and then we are moving through the sand dunes and slowly moving forward. And then as we go through the sand dunes, we find that there is a hole on the ground. Okay, we move closer to the hole. A hand comes out of the hole and we cut to a wider shot where the man crawls out of the hole and then uh, he hears a sound. Upon hearing a sound, we cut to his close up. He looks to the left and he sees these stripes, these tiger stripes going across the screen. He landing with that. And then he looks to his the other side and then he sees these fog marks. Okay. One by one they come on the screen. Uh, found out a way to come out and you know bewitch the tiger, make friendship with it. And the way he thought that the person can do that was to wear clothes that resembled the stripes of a tiger. We don't actually think that a very simple thing can actually, we can use it as a medium, like sand, which is like all over the place around us. So I think for this story also it kind of goes like, it's a very historic story and I think this medium, the sand, we are actually having it from very beginning of Due to the Mary Com, we know a bit about that thing and as you discussed, sees from that comb, bit about discussion, like I know whatever, like before that I didn't have any idea regarding that. We want to retain the essence of the, of those, that tribe and it's difficult because we don't know much about them but so we are trying to do our best and not over exaggerate it and keep it minimum as the medium we are using for the animation is sand it's simple the tribe uh, whatever we researched on it or found about that tribe it's simple and sweet basically we're making it for the com tribe who are in manipur and um, it's actually sort of an experimentation because in uh, one of their folk tales, we're trying to bring it alive by actually doing an experimentation on sand animation. But we have no idea how they're going to respond it or you know how, we, how they're going to look at it because oral is completely different than actually seeing it on the, um, in, on the television, right? So, um, but it's, it's fun because you know you try to understand who, where they are, how they belong and you know what they are basically and you try to interpret that into visual medium. That's interesting. Actually, I'm already feeling a little bit connected to the com community, <laughs> but because I'm doing the story, I mean, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm also going through that same kind of phase, the storytelling phase that what they did. When I worked on sand, I realized that it is a very loose, difficult, a medium that is difficult to control. It's like you, you can just move your fingers and you can uh, get the desired form. But at the same time, it's very difficult to go back to the previous uh, frame. So, and there is no uh, control Z, there is no undo option. So, it's difficult in that way. You need to really plan uh, and then uh, go about composing your frame. Uh, I was just going through a document uh, about the Com tribe. Basically, it was about the Manipuri tribes, and it, uh, it mentioned 17 tribes, including Com. So, about the Com tribe, it said that they don't actually prepare its music uh, like uh, preparing or rehearsing it beforehand whatever they feel from uh, within at that moment they have their instruments and they start playing this is two characters which are dancing uh, in the tribal form so we just uh, saw the video how they are dancing and then some of the steps like we decided now the same thing we are doing with this According to Beats, we are now creating the music, so it, it, it will go uh, in sync. So we are trying out different materials, like we are putting some uh, sand or uh, uh, some grains into the bottle and we are trying to make that cowdy, cow, they use that cowdy, right? They tie that cowdy to their dresses and their uh, legs so that typical sound comes while dancing. So we are trying out that sound, we are trying out bamboo sound. So for authenticity will always arise. Especially when you're working on an existing uh, tale or an existing uh, concept or a theme, uh, okay. But then, if you give 
the due credit uh, to the person to to a group of artists to a group of writers or the the original source if you mention that it makes a huge difference yeah. like we are erasing the frame and then we are redrawing it completely so each frame is taking an hour hour 15 minutes like that the content definitely learn it uh, the animation could actually be an extension of playing with sand these people are there like uh, they are like more enthusiastic for animation like they they want to learn animation the video you have shown like they are interested in animation yeah like if uh, there is some opportunity we can go we can teach like yeah like to those people yeah we try to show there is a peaceful coexistence between the nature and men if a person who is a native who belongs to the com tribe who his way of handling the story will be far different from the way we handle the story because his interpretation will be different from ours we come across many stories but sometimes it's very hard to see through visual but and uh, now this animation work come up then even that slightest 6 minutes it's really interesting to see that then we even love to <laughs> see more of this uh, especially common even uh, several tribes like it can continue it can continue we have got first of that then secondly one com animation it will be the next one then who knows it others may follow <laughs> i used to visit uh, in the library and see various stories but sometimes these stories are very good enough but the only thing is that we need to give something we, we need to live up that kind of stories so that uh, the world and even in manipur also even many people want to really see it, but the only thing is that we lack several like uh, the idea the idea that we don't have in animation and everything that we lack is only the problem so if we have the chance uh, to see with uh, to have uh, works with those nid students then it's really a blessing for us to work they need a cultural shock for yes, they can meet your people the comes person then the this will be more better because they will experience uh, the very fact uh, yeah. natural environment of the com people and because once those uh, people from uh, the cnid if they are to be here then i think things will come out